Welcome everyone and good evening. Tim and Desiree invite you to truly be present at this time. Please turn off your cell phone and put down your cameras during the ceremony. The photographers will capture how this moment looks. I encourage you all to capture how it feels with your hearts without the distraction of technology. If these geeks up here can do it, so can you. <laughs> Family and friends who have gathered here with us today, although this is their day, it is also a tribute to all of you. For knowing you and interacting with you has helped to make our bride and groom who they needed to be to find each other. They would like to thank you all for that. All of you are the threads of which are woven the tapestry of their lives. Each one of you is an important piece in the story it tells. It is the fabric that they wrap around themselves and take comfort in when the world seems old. And on days like today, when everything is right in their world, <laughs> that task is <laughs> Yep, almost everything is right in their world. That's going to jump me people cry. <laughs> that tapestry is proudly spread out and displayed for everyone to see with all the glorious colors and textures that your diversity adds. You all hold a place in their hearts reserved for those that they have chosen to call family and friends. And they are deeply grateful to each and every one of you here today. 
Tim and Desiree, no ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that through love, patience, dedication, perseverance, through talking and listening and trying to understand, through helping and supporting and believing in each other, through learning to forgive, learning to respect, and appreciate your differences, and learning to make the important thing matter and to let go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choice you have made to begin a new life today as husband and wife. Feelings come alive in a wedding, a great happiness, some sadness, apprehension, and sometimes pure relief. There is an acute awareness of something special, something that goes to the very heart of life is about to happen. Something is gone forever, and something is born, brand new and tender. Something to be nurtured and cared for, protected and cherished, challenged and strengthened, your never-before-created marriage. Do you, Tim, choose Desiree to be your legally wedded wife, as your friend and love? On this day, do you affirm the relationship you have enjoyed? looking to the future and promising to keep and strengthen it. Will you be hers in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, in failure and in triumph? Together will you dream and live as one, while respecting one another? Will you stumble but restore each other? Will you share all things? Will you cherish, comfort, and encourage her? Be open with her and stay with her as long as you <laughs> shall live. I do. Do you, Desiree, Choose Tim to be your legally wedded husband as your friend and love. On this day, do you affirm the relationship you have enjoyed, looking to the future and promising to keep and strengthen it? Will you be his in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, in failure and in triumph? Together will you dream and live as one, while respecting one another. Will you stumble but restore each other? Will you share all things? Will you cherish? Comfort and encourage him, be open with him, and stay with him as long as you shall live. <laughs> Desiree and Tim, having expressed their intent, now wish to declare their love for one another in words that they have written. Technology. <laughs> August 20th, 2005, 2869 days ago. That's my first mention. <laughs> 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 well, I was only 16 at the time, and you were 23, and enjoyed spending those two days getting to know you. At the time, I never could have imagined that we would be standing here today and be ready to spend the rest of our lives together. Fast forward two years, and we'll get to one of the best weekends of my life. They thought you would visit me at college for a few days and then head back home. Who knew that we would end up here? Now we've been together for five years, eight months, and 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> and each one of those years, months, and days has been special. In that time, we have been through so much, supporting each other in difficult times, encouraging each other when we needed that extra push to succeed, and just sharing all of life's little moments. And we stand here today, marrying the man of my dreams. I can't help but feel like. <laughs> if my brother had not joined the Navy, or if my mom had not moved to Florida, we probably never would have met. So, as much as I wasn't happy with those events when they happened, I now thank God that they did happen because they brought us together. Thank you, I have found someone who accepts me as I am, who helps me to become a better person, someone who makes me laugh when all I want to do is cry. Someone, I'm not doing a good job. <laughs> someone who knows when I need to talk or just need a loving hug. Someone who trusts in me and who I trust. Someone who I can be silly and act and mature with. And someone who I want to spend forever with. As we prepare to begin our happily ever after, I promise you a friendship that grows deeper through the years. I promise to always be honest and say what's on my mind. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals and dreams, 
to honor and respect you, to laugh with you and cry with you. I promise to try to remember to wear SPF 37 <laughs> <laughs> to be less competitive when we play board games, and to never forget about the moon over the building. <laughs> I promise to always kiss you good night and to never go to bed angry. I promise to love you even on days when I don't like you. <laughs> I promise to love you faithfully to the good times and the bad, in sickness and in health, regardless of where life takes us. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love from this moment on for as long as we both show it. Today, when I walked into this hall, in front of our friends and our family, I was half worried about to cry. <laughs> I was half who I'm about to become. For the past five years, you've made me whole. You can see it. <laughs> this was jokes are funny. You were my first and my foremost. My smile when I wake up, and my kiss before bed. Today, as here, as as, <laughs> today, as we join together as husband and wife, we start a new chapter in our lives. Though I say in reality, we're only making official what it has been for the past five years. I need windshield wipers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure. together as husband and wife, we start a new chapter in our lives. Though I say in reality, we are only making official what has been in these past five years. These past five years have been an amazing adventure. We've had good times. We've had bad times. No matter what happens, no matter what storms come our way, we will face them together. So I wrote you a special song. Uh, I'd like to sing it for you now. However, I don't want everyone to leave, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Unless you want me to. Yes. I would say no. <laughs> I didn't really write the song. <laughs> you have been a wonderful girlfriend, a spectacular fiance, and I know you will make a wonderful girl. I can honestly not express in words how much you mean to me, how much you have been everything, and how you have helped me grow over the past five years. I know that as we are now wed, we will continue to grow, and you will help me grow more as a husband. And the French charm we deserve. Thank you for picking me. <laughs> Thank you for picking me to be the man today. Today, as we become one, I make these my solemn vows. I vow to care for you above all others, to keep you first in my mind and my heart. I vow to be a rock in the deep, in the shoulder to crawl. You are my first and my foremost. You are the smile when I wake up. I vow to play video games just as much as I always have, but I'll try to listen when you call my name. I vow to try to remember to take out the trash when it needs to go out, and try to remember to take off my work clothes in the bedroom versus the living room or anywhere else in the house. Thank you. Above all else, I vow to love you until my last day. I vow to care for you above all others. I vow to always kiss you goodnight and tell you I love you before we part ways, if even just to go. I never want to have to ask myself if you know how much I love you and how much I truly, truly am deeply unhappy and I love you too. I love you guys and Nicole today and forever after. Yours were way better. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, as you place these rings on Desiree's finger, repeat after me. With this ring, I pledge my love and faithfulness to you today, tomorrow, and always. With this ring, with this ring, I pledge my love, I pledge my love and faithfulness to you, and faithfulness to you today, today, tomorrow, tomorrow, and always, and always. <laughs> Desiree, 
As you place this ring on Tim's finger, repeat after me. With this ring, I pledge my love and faithfulness to you today, tomorrow, and always. Yeah. Love is the eternal force of life. Love is the force that allows us to face fear and uncertainty with courage. But although you will be sharing one life, never forget that you are two separate people. Cherish and affirm your differences. Love each other. Keep your commitment primary. Together you will laugh and cry, be sick and well, be happy and angry. Share and grow. Grow sometimes together. Grow sometimes separately. To symbolize the importance of the individuals within the marriage and the joining of two lives into one entity, three colors of sand will now be layered into a vase. We begin with a layer of neutral sand. We begin with a layer of neutral sand, which symbolizes that the marriage is grounded. Then we layer the individual colors. And now we combine the colors which symbolizes two lives joined as one together forever. Well, that didn't happen when I was. They're kind of running over. I was playing with sand. And now, by the power vested in me, by the state of Florida and the Church of the Latter day Duke, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the brother. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, it is now my great pleasure to present for the first time anywhere Mr. and Mrs. Tim and Desiree Slade. Let's all wish them well as we begin our very own happy day.